So like I said, life is nuts. It never goes the way, I, in my experience, ever that I've expected it to go. For instance, there's a bunch of people who have spent a lot of time writing Christmas songs, like a ton. There's so many. You ever notice that like around Christmas? Who writes all of these? Like who, who wrote Frosty the Snowman? If you know, please tell me because I don't and I'm not going to Google it. But just like who dedicated time? Who got that published? Who went to a producer and was like, yo, bro. So think of this. There's like a snowman, right? Snowman. And it comes to life. Oh, like horror movie? No children's song like i just don't get that personally but whoever designed this goat did this is the official crossroads students screaming goat property of one and only pastor of students brandon maybe himself and you know what this goat does i'll show you So I don't know what the producers of any of the Christmas songs featured on that goat uh, were planning when they wrote their songs, but my guess is get turned into a screaming goat meme was probably fairly low on the list. And yet in the year of our Lord 2021, probably the year of our Lord 2020, given what this goat is like, you see the head twitch, it's so creepy. That is exactly what Christmas songs are for. And the same thing happens, I think, when we set goals in life. Life sees our goals, sees the kind of things that we want to do. And most of us, I think, don't dream big enough. We dream of, like, making it through the school year, getting to play some more Call of Duty, having that cute boy or girl notice us, something like that. But life sees those goals, and instead we get screaming goats. Always screaming goats. Everywhere we go, whatever we were planning to do, a goat is screaming over it. So this year, I want to talk about goals. I want to start January by talking about goals. Now, last week, we set a goal for ourselves to live our lives by one word, a tool that we're going to use for the rest of this year to help us keep on track. This year, to help us with those goals, to help us with that one word, I want to talk about a guy named Nehemiah. Now, I've already used up a lot of time with Screaming Goat, so I'm not going to get into the story of Nehemiah today. Next week, we begin to talk about the story of a man who returned to Jerusalem after 70 years of his people being in exile, having never seen the city, and found that the walls around Jerusalem were in ruins, that, the, that everything was in shambles, that they were open to attack, and that nobody had any interest in protecting them. And if you want to hear about that story and what it has to do with goals, you're going to have to tune in next week. But for this week, all I want to say is that years like 2020, years like, you know, any difficult season of your life, those challenges are going to be like a screaming goat on the side of your goals. But what you need to do when life gets hard like that is not to give up on your goals, just not to throw up your hands and assume, well, crap, no point in writing Christmas songs anymore. Difficulty breeds innovation. Be the person who makes the screaming goats. You understand me? Be the person. Figure it out. I love you guys. God bless and have an excellent, excellent week.